Hey too. That's my styles here with my collection series number two or part two, um, which I'm going to discuss as you can see in the description by the title. My Simone Smith earring collection. I have seven pair. And I want to go ahead and get right into it. I have on some other little hoops just to start the um you know my little dollar not dollar store what they call beauty supply brand but anyway i went ahead and took them off and i started filming and then um my phone rang right and so when i stopped the phone from ringing i started back thinking i was filming and didn't realize it cut off my video and so like i said in my first video they call me one take shorty but I don't understand, I'm gonna say I don't understand. I haven't made it my business to learn the editing part. And so my plan is to do these videos in one take until the motivation and the interest level raises up for me to have a better quality and figure out what's going on, do shorts and cut and put things together. That's the plan. But let's go ahead and get into these things. Oh, let's talk about really quick, before we talk about these earrings, I want to talk about my head wrap from Titi's Closet. I love Titi's Closet. My head wraps come in a clutch. I'm not sure what the name of this, but I'm planning on doing a head wrap collection video coming out real soon. Oh, did I just cover up my ears? But um, yeah, so I plan on doing a head wrap collection, showing you my collection as well as showing you how I tie my head wraps. So let's go ahead and get into the earrings. The reason why we're here. Now these earrings right here, I'm doing these first to get them kind of out the way. And the reason why I feel like they need to be out the way is because um, when I bought them, they didn't come with a little pouch that the rest of the earrings come in. I bought these from Macy's. They came in this and then like some sort of little jewelry box. Right? Now I already had other pair from Simone Smith. But it didn't occur to me that that was pissing me off until after I bought all my other ones directly from Simone Smith and realized these should have still come with a pouch. And I don't know whose fault, I guess, for lack of better words or whatever that is, that if another company is going to sell the earrings, this still should have been sold the same way that the other earrings were sold. They were not, and I still bought them, but I'm mad because I have seven pair of Simone Smith earrings and I'm missing a pouch. So I have to keep them in a baggie <laughs> because that's what they came in. Even though I could find other pouches, but that's not the point. The point is I'm just showing how it came. Um, forgive me for my voice going in and out, because I'm trying to teach myself this when I when I do babble. Sometimes my voice will get lower because I'm doing, I'm kind of like talking to myself, I guess. And when I have to realize that I'm talking to you guys, which means <laughs> I need to make sure I'm speaking at a tone where you can hear me. My words are more clear. So let's try that now. Anyway, these are silver. I believe these are the silver apple style. They have the embellishment. Um, as you can see as I twist them, they have the embellishment here in the front and then on the inside of the earring. And so when you put the earring on and you're looking directly at a person, you can see the embellishment here as well as in the front. I love Simone Smith branding because you know it's a Simone Smith earring because they have this little this little U right here and on this part of the earring right here is SS on this side and on this side SS Simone Smith right here SS and then as I'm turning it right here SS so I love the branding but I love the little embellishment a little silver some silver something no tarnishing no well this one did i can't lie this one does have a little bit of tarnishing it's still doing better than most silver this is not sterling silver and if it is it still has a bit of tarnishing and i like to blame that on the fact that i did not get it directly from the site that is just my personal opinion it may not mean anything but that's i'm sa i'm saying what i'm saying so it's a bit of tarnishing and i haven't tarnished and i haven't cleaned it um and I'm going to have to probably do some research or go on Instagram and see what their preferred way of cleaning these things are. But again, I got these from Macy's. Um, they did not come with a pouch from Macy's. Um, and so that was quite disappointing, especially after realizing that even though I had these earrings beforehand and bought some after, 
they do not come to the, with a house and they should have, in my opinion. Whoever's going to sell these needs to sell them as they normally would come directly from the site. That's my recommendation. Go ahead. Okay, so the rest of my earrings, because those don't come in a pouch, I hold the rest of my earrings in the pouch here. And I can't, I'm not going to show them the order that I bought them in because I do not remember. But um, everything that I can remember about these earrings, I will try to point out. Here's the first earring, set of earrings I'm pulling out, the pouch. Here's the little ring for Simone Smith. It's so cute. Sister Love. So this is from the Sister Love collection. Um, and then from that collection, I think it's where they have like levels of, I like to call it levels of collection. That's the Sister Love collection. And these right here. I call these the Monet Tahatas. <laughs> because Mary J. Blige was rocking these down in Power Book 2. Killing it. You know how Mary J. Blige do. And in case I didn't already say it, it is a collab, I believe it's a collaborative effort between Simone Smith and Mary J. Blige. Now, if I didn't say it, Simone Smith is L. Cool J's wife. If y'all don't know who that is, now you do. But this is definitely an old to back in the day. I'm from Queens, Astoria. And earrings like this remind me of back in the day when the girls used to be true fly girls okay i wanted the big ones but i really needed to wear this style right here to work and i needed to be i needed this to be like an everyday earring and so i bought the babies so i had the baby we never i don't think we ever seen mary j blige in a pair of babies we stay seeing her with the with the with the big joints but um yeah i still thinking about getting the bigger ones so that i could just be going to the store like boom but i love these and so the branding on these, similar, but not exactly the same. You still have your, your little U right here, but this one says Sister Love. Whereas this one says Sister Love, I don't know if you can see. This one does not say Sister Love, it just has like some engraving, like a shape or whatever. But the um, branding is still the same, where you have the SS here. As I begin to turn it, the SS is here, and then when I turn it this way, the SS is here. Bomb. Okay, my Monet Tahadas. I think these just called like ropes, the rope something. But these remind me of um, when the dudes used to be on a block back in the day, and they would have on a big beefy rope chain. <laughs> Call them like truck, truck, truck jewelry. Oh my god. And if you was a girl, they let you wear your tights and chain. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to clean as I go. I'm going to put these back in their respective pouch. And I'm going to move on to the next pair. Okay. So we got these. Again, the beautiful blue velvety type pouch with the Simone Smith branding. Right there. Branding, I think something like I said, Brandon. Okay, so here's another um, silver pair that I got. I got these pretty early on when I started getting my earrings from her. These are called um, Baby Bam Beauties, I believe. Silver. And I like these because they were like the oval shape rather than the regular bamboo type shape this is a little gives you a little different type of swag but I, yeah these are the baby bam beauties my memory is serving me correct in the silver again this is from the sister love collection sister love right there on the u shape branding the branding here the branding here here bomb all of these earrings are excellent quality and i like this take on bamboos because we know at least two pair is the minimum okay it's not the maximum but it's definitely the minimum a fancy bag in her bag attitude okay so i'm gonna put these back so yeah i got these pretty early on when i first saw that she was making earrings when i first saw that she was making earrings i'm not sure how many years ago that was because she's been on she's been out here for a couple for quite some years now but 
So this is these are the two options, these are the three I've shown so far. Okay, let's see what these are. Ooh, these right here. Okay. Blue. Baby. The door knocker. You understand? The door knocker. For those of y'all who don't know, the door knocker. Imagine a door. Knock, knock, knock. If you're from New York, this is literally what the door knockers look. This is what was on your door, your front door. Look like a little little door knock. Knock, knock. You hit the you know, you hit it up and down. That's how you knock on somebody's door, baby. This is almost identical to the style and the design from back in the day. Okay? Back in the day, if you had a pair of these, one thing you could do with a pair of these, I think they probably like 10 carats, something like that. One thing you could do with a pair of these is flatten them, baby. And whether you, <laughs> they would flatten on their own if you wore them too much, if you, you know, you wore them earrings out too much, they would be flat. These would turn into a pair of flats in a second back in the day. These right here, the quality is such that they will not be squished up. But I had to have a pair of these. These are giving me all the 90s vibes that I will ever need. Door knockers. Okay, these are called the shishis. That's what Simone Smith called her, the shishis. I call them the shishis too, but we all know that they're door knockers. Again, with the branding, you shake, sister love, SS, SS, here we go. Branding is consistent. The hook is consistent. Let me see. Let me see if I'm going to give y'all a little something. She can walk to the switch and talk to the street friend. Anyway, um, yes. Okay? You, when I be putting these on, I'm not, I'm, I'm not playing. You know what I mean? This is when you know I'm about to go off. But yeah, shout out to Simone Smith and Mary J. Blige for coming through with the nostalgia. Put these back. I'm cleaning as I go because it's enough. Today is February 25th, 2024. This is my second video I'm shooting today. And I think that's it. Um, okay. Another blue pouch. What's going to come up out of these? I had to have these just the same. So let me go ahead and take these back out so I could just show them side by side when I'm ready. But here's these right here. I had to have these and I had to have these in the regular size. I don't even know if they, well, I think they might come in the baby now. But, mm mm. Honey, there was no way around me getting these there was no way I was gonna let these stay on the site without me getting a pair you know I had to have the bamboo door knocker these are also considered door knockers if you're from New York if you're from the P's if you're from anywhere for the most part in New York City any one of the five boroughs you live in the building your door knockers was given this shape period and I had to have the bamboo style important extremely important to me again living out my 90s dreams thanks to some old smith and the mary j blige collaboration i needed these now peep game like i said door knockers they both are considered door knockers this is the bamboo style and this oh my god like i said this is almost identical to the style that this particular shape came in back in the day size and shape oh my god nailed it nailed it and these are the bamboo style ones two different things going on here it's giving me two different looks i wear them for two different purposes but baby when i be having on my head wrap and i put a pair of these on any small smith here will do and that's a fact but yeah i love these once again the branding is consistent sister love small smith small smith right there small smith right there Mm. Okay. Now, needless to say, I had to have these right here. Another pouch. 
They all have pouches. I have six pouches and then the one that I showed you in the beginning that don't have a pouch. This is me off. But anyway, um, I had to have the bamboos. These are called the bamboos. You can see the branding, the branding, the branding. Like I said, check the consistency. It's there. The quality is there. These are not going to flatten out. These are not going to tarnish. And if they do, I blame you. But anyway, these are the 60 millimeters. I think they got another, they got a bigger size, like the 80. And so when you, I guess when you click for the details, you can see the millimeters. So these are the 60s and then the bigger ones are the 80s. Um, the size that Mary J. Lodge would be wearing down to the power series. <laughs> You're not seeing Mary J. in this size right here in that move in that show. You might see her maybe if she just regular regular chilling. But when she dressed to the nines, which she usually is and we already know, she don't have big ones on. And the reason I had to get the sixties is because I need to wear these to work. However, me getting the eighties is still on the agenda. Because how can I not have the bigger bamboo hoops? There's just no way around it. I will eventually get those but because I already have this style it's important for me to get other styles that I like first <laughs> okay so I will eventually come back around to getting these styles but yeah but check the consistency again on the engagement sister love I believe most of these are the fly girl collection when you go on the site you'll be able to see that Right now, I believe they got 20% off on the um, Nefertiti's, and that is very enticing. Very enticing because I be seeing, um, who got those Nefertiti's? Um, Tab. Tab at the Brown, she has those Nefertiti's, and when she have them on, they be swinging. And I'm like, having on a pair of Nefertiti's from back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, 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 A part of my 90s dream. Okay, um. So, the bam boos. My final pair. I had to go there. Now, as you can see, this pair is a purple pouch. And I believe the reason the pouch went from blue to purple, I'm not sure if it was permanent, but from my understanding, the pouch went from blue to purple due to the color purple. I believe there was some sort of collaborative supportive effort or something like that or maybe some also just felt the need to to you know do that but um ultimately here's the branding as you can see ss right simone smith whereas this one says sister love and this one is a small smith so these different earrings fall under different collections now, while this particular collection shows the purple, it, I, it doesn't mean that this collection doesn't have the blue, but maybe this collection only has the purple. I'm not sure. This is my only pair that came with a purple pouch, but I had to have me a pair of hoops. Okay, when these went on sale, I said immediately, and I immediately went outside and was like, where's, you know, looking for my package to roll up. I had to have these giant hoops. These are called the Queen Cobra. Now, when you look at the branding here, it says Simone Smith. Okay? Whereas the other ones say Sister Love. So the other ones fall into the category of Sister Love Collection. And then you look under Fly Girls, I believe. I believe those are from the Fly, the rest of those are from the Fly Girl collection. Um, definitely the Shishis, so the bigger door knockers, definitely those, and probably the Monet Bahadis. But, yeah, these are the Queen Cobras. Nice detail, a little shimmery, what they call diamond cuts. <laughs> They would call it diamond cuts, even though it wasn't diamond, but some of it would be diamond, but it was given like a diamond cut look. 
back in the day. But the branding is consistent regardless. It's here on both sides. And it's on this side of the earring, on that side of the earring. Okay, let me put one on. Boop. You're not, listen, hoops are the standard. Hoops are the standard. You got to be in a pair of hoops. I got on the Mary J. Blige side. So when you see Mary J. Blige in a pair of hoops, you better believe they're going to take up all this space right here. And I needed a giant pair of hoops so that when I put on my curly wig or my straight bust down, or even my, as you can see, head wrap, or when I have my natural hair underneath, y'all need to be able to see the hoopage. You need to be able to see the hoopage. But yes, um, very happy to do my collection. This is my last pair. Um, but look, Ew. but um, yeah, very cute, very beautiful. The quality on the Simone Smith collection is excellent. Excellent. I haven't seen a piece of tarnish at all, but of course I also take care of myself. Um, I keep them inside their pouches. And then I also like to keep them inside the bag if that is empty now. Um, I'm gonna put this hoop back and I'll continue to wear this hoop right here for eye candy. Um, and so, as you can see, me and Simone Smith, we tight, baby, like 10 toes in a sock. Me and Simone Smith, we close. We real close. I like her. Me, her, and Mary J. Blige. We like this. I can't even do the other thing. We, we out here like this, okay? We real close. But I'm very happy that she does have this earring collection, um, these earrings that she put out to the ladies. It's very much given the style given. It's very much given my personal style. Like I said, I'm a New Yorker and I always feel the need to dress a certain way and have a certain kind of look. And it's definitely like the street kind of look. That's me. And so, um, Thank you, Simone Smith. Shout out to you. Shout out to MJ Beats. Um, yeah. And so I'll be looking to get another pair of earrings um, sooner than later. Like I said, right now I want them to fatigue. But even on sale, I can't pay the five. You know, I need to calm down on my my spending a little bit. But yeah, yeah. But anyway, shout out to Simone Smith once again. Um, shout out to Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And in my videos to come, you will not be missing out on seeing me drop these and mentioning them in my videos coming up. I got seven pair and I could talk about it at least seven different times. And I shall. And I shall. But I love these. Yeah, again, these are the Queen Cobras. These are the 80 millimeters, so the biggest one. Or um, I think it's described as large or extra large. Then when you look for the detail, then you'll be able to see the millimeters. 60 millimeters, 60 millimeters, 80 millimeters, millimeters. You'll be able to see it like that. So, so yeah. All right, so this is um, the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, ask me any questions that you want to ask. Um, and be easy. Thank you.